Unfortunately to many, pain is the only thing that's real. Last night, we told you about a Wall Street Journal story profiling shoppers outside a supermarket 60 miles from New Orleans. One of those profiled, Megan Nakwin, says that prices have gotten so high, she now spends more money on groceries for her family of eight than on her $1,500 monthly mortgage. Megan Nakwin uh, joins me now. Megan, um, how much has your bill gone up in just the last year alone? In the last year, definitely a few hundred dollars. So every um, time you go shopping, every month, what is it? Um, we every time we go shop, we go shopping multiple times a week. But since within the last year, it's definitely gone up. You know, for like a monthly budget, a few hundred dollars. And what does Washington? What does Megan? What does Washington not get about this for? Regular working families. You, you saw Biden celebrating when this inflation number came out at the White House. Uh, how does that feel to you? Uh, not too great. I'm sure he doesn't have to worry about, you know, putting food on the table. Um, when's it going to stop? When are the rising prices going to stop? Not just the grocery prices, but the energy prices. They have, our light bill has almost doubled in the past few months. And it wasn't just a, a slow progression. It was a month to month, like one month, it was regular. The next month, almost two hundred dollars more. And we're like, you know, how are the people down here supposed to afford this? You know. During um, the pre-pandemic period, let's say two thousand eighteen, two thousand nineteen, gasoline was at about two twelve, two twenty, two thirty a gallon. Most parts of the country uh, was that more of an affordable number for you and your family? And did you notice if we're able to save a little bit of money under those circumstances? Well, absolutely. Definitely more affordable. And thank goodness, I mean, gas prices have come down just recently. Um, if you would have had the gas prices, the energy prices, the grocery prices, we're just regular people here. You know, how are we going to afford all that? Well, what about the push for just go get an electric car? Does that resonate with you? Not for it. Makes no sense at all to me. No sense Why? at all. Uh, they want people to slow down on, the, on the, the, their grids and not use as much energy, but then go get an electric car. Well, Megan, that's Washington for you. <laughs> This is why. This yeah. is why I want well, to get out of Washington. This is it's a, yeah. This is they're not listen. It's they're insane. not it listening no to sense. the real. No, they're not listening to people, people, actual people like you, Megan. Megan, I really appreciate your joining us. You have a big family to take care of and yes. a budget to make, and uh, help is on the way. Help is on the way. So thank you very much for being here tonight. Hey, Sean Hannity here. Hey, click here to subscribe to Fox News' YouTube page and catch our hottest interviews and most compelling analysis. You will not get it anywhere else.